This is the Music History Today podcast for June 16th. On today's show, Greece is the word, it's day one of Monterey, and it's Tupac's birthday. First up, though, on this date in 1956, Bill Doggett recorded the song Honky Tonk. In 1962, Gary U.S. Bonds performed on American television for the first time. In 1967, day one of the Monterey International Pop Festival began, unofficially kicking off the Summer of Love. That night's performers included Lou Rawls, Eric Burden and the Animals, and Simon and Garfunkel. Also on that exact same day, the very first Montreux Jazz Festival started. In 1975, the TV game show Musical Chairs premiered with singer Adam Wade, who became the first black host of a TV game show. In 1976, the Jackson's TV variety show premiered. The show featured most of the Jackson family, including Michael and a then 10-year-old Janet Jackson. In 1978, the movie musical Grease premiered. In 1980, the musical movie The Blues Brothers, based on the Saturday Night Live sketch of the same name, held its premiere in Chicago, Illinois. We talk about most of what I just mentioned, all on the Music History In-Depth podcast, which has already dropped on this network by the time you've heard me just mention that sentence. In 1989, the Glastonbury Music Festival in England got underway with Elvis Costello headlining. In 1996, singer and actress Cassie Wesley married her husband, James DePaba. In 2005, singer Bo Bice married his wife, Caroline Fisher. In 2007, Rod Stewart married model Penny Lancaster. In 2010, the four horsemen of thrash metal, Metallica, Slayer, Anthrax and Megadeth all played at the same concert together for the first time. In 2010, the group Orange Caramel was formed. In 2012, stage rigging collapsed before a Radiohead concert in Toronto, Canada, killing a stage technician and injuring many others. In 2014, Jennifer Lopez and Mark Anthony divorced after 10 years of marriage. In 2017, the movie biopic about Tupac Shakur called All Eyes on Me premiered. And in 2022, after agreeing to never tour again in 2014, Motley Crue started their stadium tour with Poison and Def Leppard. In theater in 1879, the Gilbert and Sullivan comic opera HMS Pinafore opened on Broadway. In 1902, the musical show The Wizard of Oz opened in Chicago. In 1977, the musical Beatlemania opened on Broadway. And in 1991, the revival of the musical Fiddler on the Roof closed on Broadway. In award ceremonies that were held on June 16th, the 1966 Man of La Mancha won Best Musical at the Tony Awards. In 1997, Alan Jackson was among the big winners at the Music City News Country Music Awards. And in 1999, Phil Collins received a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Albums that were released on June 16th include in 1969 when Captain Beefheart and the Magic Band released Trout Mask Replica. In 1970, Grand Funk Railroad released Closer to Home. In 1971, Elvis Presley released Love Letters from Elvis and Three Dog Night released Golden Biscuits. In 1972, Roxy Music released their self-titled album. Also in 1972, David Bowie released Ziggy Stardust and the Spiders from Mars, a classic album that we go into great detail on during this week's Music History In-Depth podcast. In 1978, Olivia Newton-John and many others released the soundtrack to the movie Grease. Also in 1978, Ringo Starr released Bad Boy. In 1980, Carly Simon released Come Upstairs. In 1981, The Carpenters released Made in America. In 1983, Ringo Starr released Old Wave. In 1986, The Smiths released The Queen is Dead. They would eventually be right. In 1991, Big Audio Dynamite 2 released The Globe and Typo Negative released Slow, Deep, and Hard. 
1992, Peter Cetera released World Falling Down and Taj Mahal released Taj's Blues. In 1995, Michael Jackson released the double album History, Past, Present, Future, Book One. In 1997, Radiohead released OK Computer. In 1998, Neil Finn released Try Whistling This along with Aaron Carter releasing his self-titled album, Ringo Starr releasing Vertical Man, and Little Feet releasing Under the Radar. In 2004, The Jelly Bricks released Power This. In 2005, Splongle released Nothing Last But Nothing Is Lost. In 2009, Don Henley released The Very Best of Don Henley, and George Harrison released Let It Roll songs by George Harrison. In 2015, James Taylor released Before This World, and in 2018, Beyonce and Jay-Z released their album, Everything Is Love. Singles that were released on June 16th include in 1962 when the Isley Brothers released Twist and Shout. In 1995, Peter and Gordon released To Know You Is To Love You. In 1969, the Beach Boys released Breakaway. In 1980, the Jay Giles Band released Just Can't Wait. In 1985, Patti LaBelle released Stir It Up. In 1987, The Grateful Dead released Touch of Grey. In 1992, Madonna released This Used to Be My Playground. In 2003, The Black Eyed Peas released Where Is the Love. In 2013, Fifth Harmony released Miss Movin' On. In 2017, Sheck West released Mo Mamba. Cardi B released Bodak Yellow. A.J. Mitchell released Used to Be. Sky released Feeling You. And Jay Watford and All Day released Drunk Together. Before we go any further, we'd like to tell you that there is now a Music History In-Depth podcast where we go more in-depth on a few of the events that happen in music history for that particular week. The Music History In-Depth podcast runs every Tuesday on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts from, as does our Music Halls of Fame podcast, which talks about a member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame along with other Music Halls of Fame, museums, and walks of fame. The Music Halls of Fame podcast drops every Thursday and can also be found on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts. Now, back to this podcast. Artists who were born on June 16th include composer Francis Johnson, country music singer Billy Crash Craddock, DJ Nash, drummer Doan Perry of Jethro Tull, drummer Ian Mosley of Marillion, Gary Roberts of the Boomtown Rats, guitarist Al Viola, James Smith of the Stylistics, jazz singer Dominique Eid, John Rustill of the Shadows, Lamont Dozier of the Motown songwriting team Holland Dozier Holland, Little Caesar Burnett of Little Caesar and the Romans, Pepe Castro of the Blues Magoos, percussionist Freddie Studer, pianist Al Daly, Pianist Sergei Kuryokshin, rapper Baby J, rapper Bryce Vine, rapper MC Ren of NWA, rapper Tay K, rapper extraordinaire the icon Tupac Shakur, rapper Young Melee, saxophonist Javon Jackson, saxophonist Lou Gare of AMM, saxophonist Lucky Thompson, singer Destiny Monroe of Click Girls, Singer Diana DeGarmo, singer DTG, singer Eddie Lavert of the OJs, singer G Soul, singer Gino Vanelli, singer JC Leanne, singer John Newman, singer Jonah Marias of the group Why Don't We, singer Juan Laverde, singer Pontus Rasmussen, singer songwriter Banks, singer songwriter Ben Queller of the Benz. Singer-songwriter Ian Matthews of Fairport Convention and also the Matthews Southern Comfort. Songwriter Justin Tranter, trombonist Tom Malone, trumpet player Clarence Shaw, and trumpet player Tom Harrell. Artists who unfortunately passed away on June 16th include composer Marsilio Castantini, who passed away in 1651 at the age of 74. Composer Johann Adam Hiller passed away in 1804 at the age of 75. Composer George Wenzel Ritter passed away in 1808 at the age of 60. 
Composer Josef Schnabel passed away in 1831 at the age of 64. Composer Valentino Fioravanti passed away in 1837 at the age of 72. Composer Wendelin Weinheimer passed away in 1910 at the age of 72. Jazz musician Emmett Hardy passed away in 1925 at the age of 22. Jazz drummer Chick Webb passed away of Potts disease in 1939 at the age of 34. Composer Jose Pablo Mancayo passed away in 1958 at the age of 45. Composer Carl Schnicki passed away in 1969 at the age of 53. Guitarist Lonnie Johnson passed away in 1970 at the age of 71. Composer Hieno Eller passed away in 1970 at the age of 83. Record executive Don Roby passed away in 1975 at the age of 71. Composer Ben Weber passed away in 1979 at the age of 62. Country music singer Bob Nolan passed away in 1980 at the age of 72. James Honeyman Scott of The Pretenders passed away from a drug overdose in 1982 at the age of 25. Blues harmonica player Harmonica Slim passed away in 1984 at the age of 49. The organist for the Saint Etude de Monde from 1929 to 1975, along with being a teacher at the Paris Conservatory from 1943 to 1970, Maurice Durfle passed away in 1986 at the age of 84. Opera soprano Eva Turner passed away in 1990 at the age of 98. Singer Vicki Brown passed away from cancer in 1991 at the age of 50. Guitarist Kristen Pfaff of Hole passed away from a heroin overdose in 1994 at the age of 24. Conductor Boris Alexandrov passed away in 1994 at the age of 88. John Walters of Dr. Hook passed away in 1997 at the age of 52. Screaming Lord of the official monster raving loony band committed suicide in 1999 at the age of 58. Conductor and clarinetist Richard DeFalo passed away in 2000 at the age of 67. Singer Patty Darcy passed away in 2007 at the age of 54. Opera singer Maureen Forrester passed away in 2010 at the age of 79. Guitarist Gary Scheider of Parliament Funkadelic passed away in 2010 at the age of 56. Composer Bill Dixon passed away in 2010 at the age of 85. Concert violinist Pierre Darchambreau passed away in 2014 at the age of 87. The conductor of the Bolshoi Theater from 1951 to 1961. The USSR State Radio from 1961 to 1974. And the USSR Ministry of Culture Symphony from 1983 to 1991. Conductor Gennady Rozdenvensky passed away in 2018 at the age of 87. Singer Bishop Bullwinkle passed away in 2019 at the age of 71. And K-pop singer Johan passed away in 2020 at the age of 28. Next on the Music History Today podcast, it is June 17th when in 2013 Avicii released the song Wake me up. <laughs> 